Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You've been saying that all morning. And I'll keep saying it! Go easy on him, Nathan. Neither of us is happy about this turn of events. I'm just as angry as you two. It was my turn next. None of us will get a turn now. Ugh, how could he do something like that? He just handed it over to her with no hesitation whatsoever. We've been hauling the Limited for years. Surely that counts for something. Well, she is an excellent passenger engine. Hey, Frank, do you know this engine talking to us? Never seen him before in my life. All right, all right, I get it. Honestly, though, I thought the train master was going to have her on commuter work. Perhaps that's still an option. How so? It's simple. Sydney has already proved adept at the commuter run, but she has yet to do so with the Limited. For all we know, she'll crumble under the responsibility. There's a thought. Nah, Sydney's way too headstrong for that. She could probably run through a hurricane on one cylinder if it meant staying on time. True. We'd have to break her spirit first. Yeah, because that works so well already. Maybe it's not her spirit that we have to break. Just her reputation. You know, give an engine a heavy enough load they can stall on... the hill. Yes! That's it! What? Blue Sky Hill! It's the steepest grade on the line! All we have to do is weigh Sid down with enough tonnage to stall her on the grade. Trainmaster will think she's underpowered and will have to fall back to using us. That might work. It's a bit juvenile. Oh, come on, Nathan. It'll be easy. She starts out with a few cars at first, but eventually she has to make a few stops. At these stops, we <coughs> persuade her to carry a few more cars at a time. Soon, she won't even have enough strength to leave the station. Those cars get heavy fast. I see your point, Craig, but I'm just not sure if I want to go through with this. Nathan, it's either this or Cool Hoppers for Eternity. Okay, sign me up. Let me know what the plan is tomorrow morning. You won't regret this, big guy. I hope so. For everyone's sake. He's not on board with this, is he? Not one bit. Well, we better do this quick before he gets cold journal boxes on us. But Nathan's right. Sydney is a capable locomotive. There's no way something simple like extra cars are going to slow her down. <sighs> you do have a point. What we need is a game changer. Something to really pull the rails out from under- Ooh. Everything all right back there? Yeah, I'm fine. But I think this tank car has a problem. Uh, Craig? The tank car has a what? Hmm. A game changer. Ready for this, Sid? Uh, built ready. Good luck with the limited, Sydney. I'm sure you'll handle it like a pro. Thanks, Nathan. You know, if you want a real test, perhaps you should take the reserve cars with you. Reserve cars? You mean there's more? Yep. We use these on the expanded autumn edition of the limited. The only way to accommodate extra passengers at that time of year. Hmm. Well, autumn is only a year away. You know what, Nate? Hand them over. I must warn you, these cars are heavier than they look. Uh... Something wrong? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was just, uh, I was lost in thought. Eh, I understand. By the way, I'm dead heading up the line myself. Might I have a tag along? <sighs> well, if you must. Right, Sid? Just need a, need a 
moment to catch my breath. Ah, you've made it. On schedule, too. <laughs> sure did. Nathan has been helping out with these extra cars. Whew. If this is what the autumn train is like, then I am not looking forward to October. Just wait until the holidays come around. People flock from across the globe to ride the Limited in winter. We usually have to double head engines because the train gets so long. Double head? That's right. Train Master insists on it, but we've always thought one engine could still do it alone. Never had the chance to try it, though. What? Huh? I can do it. I don't know, Sid. This was just supposed to be a break and run. I don't want to push it with this many cars. No worries. Me and Nathan have this. This is just for today, after all. I can take these cars back if you don't want them. No way! Bring them on! If you say so. And here we are, in our titular city. Finally! <sighs> um, listen, Sid, I'm not sure how to say this, but you're being played. Huh? You see, me and the others, well... Nathan, stop! I think your side rod is coming loose! What? No, it's not. I'm serious, Nathan. You should have Carter take a look at it. But I feel just fine. I think your side rod is loose, Nathan! Oh, oh, right. Uh, sorry, Sid. I'm gonna have to cut off here to be inspected. You sure you got this? What? You can't just... Uh, <laughs> um, no, no, no. It, it's all right. <laughs> Go on ahead. See yourself. <laughs> Good luck, Sid! All right. Ready to go when you are, Sid. Uh, do, do you mind if I take a minute? <laughs> uh, my, uh, my bearings, they feel a little warm. I, I might need to take some time to cool off first. No worries, take your time. Oh, man, what have I gotten myself into? Now I have to tackle the hill. All right, you guys ready? We're just getting into position. How's the hill? Just finished. This is gonna be quite the show. We're about to reach the great, Sid. It's not too late to back out. Yes, it is. I'm not letting those cinder heads get the better of me. I can handle this grade easily. Easy, Sid. You're tearing my fire to pieces. Uh, sorry. Ah! Come on, Sid! You got this! Shut up, Craig! Van Horn's beer! She's actually doing it! I told you, Canadian boy! I can handle this! What's the matter, Sid? How to juice? Don't worry, there's no shame in a second attempt! Craig, wait! No! See you at the bottom! Wow, a backwards fourth wheel slip. What do you call that? Oh, shut up. Make it stop! We can't. The throttle's stuck. Hit the deck!
Sid, speak to me. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Wait, wait, no, no, now I feel it. Oh, Lord, this is serious. Nothing to do now but call for a mechanic and a tow. Wait, how are we moving? It's the cars, they're pulling us back. The brake, someone hit the brake. Nothing's working, not even the radio. If only there was something we could do to get their attention. Help! Craig! Break somebody! It's gotten quiet. Very quiet. Maybe she stopped the build-up pressure before continuing. You see anything up there, Craig? Well, I've lost sight of her up here. Wait, I see her. She's coming down the hill. <laughs> She's probably backing down for a second try. Actually, she's moving pretty fast. Run right away! What happened? She slipped at the spot I greased and she started backing down the hill. You did what? You guys have to stop her! There's passengers on board. And there's that expensive Skytop lounge on the rear. We'd crush it at this speed. You have to slow her down first. Nathan, head back and be ready to catch us. All right. Gotcha! No! No! Oh, I can't hold it! Craig, you have to reverse and apply steam. What are you talking about? Just do it! Reverse and apply steam, slowly! And, uh, wait! We're slowing! Frank, get ready! I'm good. Still on one piece. I, I've i been better. Oh, that's good. For a minute there, I thought we were in the old... Oh, sweet Harriman. That was a serious piece of railroading, you four. If it wasn't for your quick thinking, this situation could have had a much unhappier ending. But at least you're all safe. Because that means I can tear you apart myself. Senseless endangerment of passengers and crew. Deliberate sabotage of rail-to-wheel adhesion with greased rails. Damage occurred to said rails from excessive wheel slip. Careless attitude concerning the overloaded nature of the train. Not to mention the extensive damage that has occurred to Sydney's valve gear and the couplers and brake rigging on the passenger cars. Any questions? In short, you're mad with us, aren't you, sir? Oh, I'm not mad. I'm... Furious! The press will tear us apart. We'll be lucky if only one lawsuit arises from this. I hope you three are happy with yourselves. But it was an accident, sir! Ask someone! They'll back us up! I'm waiting. Andy? I'm sorry, what was that? I think there's still some sand in my smoke box. Anthony? I've got nothing to say. Dan! Nope, I'm staying out of this one. <sighs> okay, yes, train master. It was our idea to- It was all their idea. Hey! They came up with a plan to overload Sid's train and they broke me into it. Sir, it's not what it sounds like. We didn't mean to cause a runaway. We just wanted to- Actually, Frank suggested it in the first place. Oh, come on. Zip it! The three of you and crews are to blame for this. The reputation of the San Juan Limited and our company itself has been compromised with your actions. I might have to cancel the service when this is all over. Sir, please- No! Hmm. Not another word out of any of you. Someone has to pay for this debacle, and that is exactly what's going to happen. 
I am sending the three of you up the hill with this track crew to replace every single rail you ruined with your recklessness today. Ugh. It's not so bad, I guess. <laughs> well, maybe we can find out how far Sid's wheel slip lasted. It's probably a new record. Craig? Laugh it up. Enjoy your late night work train service, because it's the last assignment you'll ever receive. Sir, do you mean... You're done. All three of you. Tomorrow morning, I'm having Carter drop your fires, disconnect piston rods, and drain your boilers. You are hereby pulled from the San Juan roster. <gasps> Sir, Sir, please. please. Nope. Let me just My explain. mind is made up. There is no more negotiating over this. I'll be back in the morning to oversee your shutdown personally. Good night. No. Excuse me? I said no, sir. Don't stick your neck out for them. I'm just as guilty as they are, sir. Explain. Yes, Craig, Frank, and Nathan tried to overload me on the hill, and I hate to admit it, but they did succeed. <laughs> but I'm guilty because I knew what they were doing, sir. I played along with it, tried to prove how capable I was. That train was way over my pulling capacity, and I should have known better. Instead, my ego robbed my judgment, and, and we all paid the price. Uh... Look, I'm the new girl, so punish me as you like, but, but these guys, they're family. S sir, they're your family, and they have been for years. Don't turn your back on them over one incident. Too many steam engines are forever silent because of heated decisions like this. Please, trust me on that. Hmm. All right, I'll spare them. For now. Nathan, Craig, and Frank, work train duty. And if I hear so much as a sigh from your cylinders, it's the deadline. Do I make myself clear? Crystal clear, sir. Wonderful. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Get going. Talk about an interesting evening, huh? Now for the rest of you, consider the events of today a warning. Recklessness of this extent will not be tolerated under any circumstances. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a few phone calls to make, and a few favors to turn in. Comfortable? As much as a cripple can be, I guess. Nah, don't be so dramatic. Carter's a bit of a buffoon, but he's a complete wizard. He'll have you fixed and shined up better than the day they built you at... Alco? Uh, Baldwin. Uh, Lima. A few months of rebuild will pass before you know it. Where are they going? Apparently, they've been reassigned. The train master is lending them out to some personal friends of his who run private tourist operations in the Midwest, as well as some backwoods tourist operation in Pennsylvania. They'll be lucky to run a couple months out of the whole year. Poetic justice, as he called it. Oh, ouch, that's harsh. Perhaps. But they did have it coming. Well, take it easy, Sid. The worst. It's never easy for an engine to completely lose their dignity and status in one day. Oh, I can relate. I've been in your brake shoes before. Really? For sure. After that stunt I pulled, they dumped me back here in pieces. Same as you. 
but they didn't give up on me. Instead, they've been slowly putting me back together these past few years. So, I know you're in good hands. What's your name, Saddle Tanker? The name's Benjamin, but you can call me Ben. I'm the original Switch Engine around here. <laughs> well, I haven't seen you before. I've been away for a bit. They're just firing me up for my federal inspection today. Let's get going, Ben. The inspector is already in the train master's office. He'll be out in a few moments. Ready, Carter. Glad to see you got that promotion. Don't feel too bad. They really are good engines. They'll come around. Perhaps someday, the train master will forgive them and bring them back home again. I'm sure Train Messer has plans for other engines to join us soon. Catch you later, Sydney. Love to talk more, but I have a serious backlog to make up. <laughs> no problem, Ben. Have fun in the yards. Hmm. Maybe someday. Sydney, how's the limited? Oh, same old, same old. Crowds astounded, flashbulbs flickering like stars in the sky, and a smile on every face. Sounds to me like you're slipping. Perhaps the great Sydney has finally run out of tricks to impress us with? <laughs> How did you... Oh, Dan. I've still got a few tricks in my cylinders. Welcome to our railroad. I hope you find it pleasant here. Any idea to what job Trainmaster needs you for? Well, I'm most comfortable with freight, but I am experienced in passenger service. Do you guys still offer that here? <laughs> 